Welcome, Welcome to, to Through the, the Halls, Halls Network. Network. My name is Adara Fierce. And I'm Andy Walpole. We'll be flying through the halls today as we update you on what's been happening in the nest. To start us off on this episode, we're going to be talking about our school's mental health programs and organizations. Let's, Let's get, get right, right into, into it. this. St. John's offers groups such as Gatekeepers, SAD, and Junior Optimists to provide positivity throughout the school year as spreading awareness of suicide and ways of prevention. This year, Gatekeepers is hosting a Blessed Not Stress Day for the junior high and high school. Today, we have our reporter Chloe Etzgorn, who is with senior Stephanie Newmeyer to tell us about Blessed Not Stressed. Take it away, Chloe. Today, we are here with Stephanie Newmeyer, the media manager of Gatekeepers. Can you tell us about your involvement in Gatekeepers and what exactly is Gatekeepers? As Chloe said, I'm the media manager of Gatekeepers. I'm in charge of our bulletin board, which is across from Mrs. Schrader's room. And basically, Gatekeepers is a suicide prevention slash mental health awareness group for the school. So we help students with their mental health and anything else that we could really need. Can you talk more about your board? The board is just basically updates on what we're doing this month or when our next meeting is or just some positive sayings to help kids get through the day. Can you talk about different opportunities at St. John's for students and teachers' mental health and like the importance of mental health here? We take mental health very seriously here. We have Bless Not Stress Day every two to three years, depending on how often we can get people to come. We do things like yoga and just meditation and stress relieving activities. And it's very focused on the mental health of students and teachers and how we can promote that more. We also have gatekeeper training within the first semester so that our students are prepared to help others with mental health so that we can support everyone and if you're not into talking to a student or a teacher, we also are partners with Westwood Mental Health and Behavioral Health over in Van Wert. And we have licensed professionals that come to the school every Friday for therapy for kids. Can you talk about mental health in our school generally from a guidance counselor's perspective? Well, from a school counselor's perspective, um, you know, and just a school in general, the primary focus is always going to be academics. However, we are very aware that students face uh, issues in, with their mental health, emotional health, spiritual health and well-being, um, physical health. And so all of those components really kind of play a role in impacting academics. And if we have students that are dealing with some type of mental or emotional dysregulation or stressor uh, within their life, then academics does kind of get put to the back burner uh, just because if you're coming into school and you aren't prepared to learn, then um, you're probably not going to be very successful with that. So uh, my goal as a school counselor is to always help our students adjust to whatever stressors they may be dealing with and some of those other components of their life. So that way we can get back on track and be able to um, really address the, the primary goal of what we want for our students to be strong academics. How does our school value mental health and what is unique to our school? So my belief is that St. John's, we place a very high value on mental health. Um, myself, I am duly licensed as both a mental health counselor and a school counselor. And I think that is an interesting component that not many schools uh, have the access to. So I bring my background from mental health counseling into this role and try to place a high awareness and um, value on what students are dealing with and what they might be going through outside of their you know school day um, that may have an impact on their overall well-being and so i think that's one thing that is you know somewhat unique to st john's uh, we also have a gatekeepers uh, group a student organization organization that uh, they will promote mental health, positive mental health awareness as well as suicide prevention within our school with different activities. Uh, and then another unique opportunity that our students have access to is uh, services through Westwood Behavioral Health. So this is a community mental health agency that we have a working relationship with and we can make a mental health counselor available to students during their school day if maybe their uh, outside activities prevent them from having access to that um, outside of the school day. Thank you Chloe. Up next we have our DSJ fun fact for the week told us by Olivia Hines. What's the fun fact Olivia?
Did you know in 1916, Delphi St. John's had its smallest graduating class only containing 10 people? But in 1972, it had its largest graduating class containing 169 students. Signing out, Olivia, who puts the fun in fun facts. Well, well, the more you know, right, Adara? That's right. Thank you all for listening, and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode. Also, make sure you tell your friends and family about our channel. Our info will be posted on the St. John's website. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Through the Halls Network. Until, Until then, then, see you next, next time. time. Hello, today here with us we have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Run through it a couple times. Yeah. Welcome to Through the Halls Network. We're supposed to read that together, bud. But you're not talking. <laughs> Because you're supposed to do three, two, one.